Hey everybody, Dan Lobby here with Lance Reisland on our Cleveland Browns on Cleveland.com YouTube channel. Another film breakdown looking ahead to the Kansas City Chiefs today. Lance chose a red zone play by the Chiefs to talk about how they've adjusted to seeing more zone coverage in the red zone and how their attention to detail allows them to exploit it. Lance, go ahead and show us the play you picked. All right, let's take a look at the Chiefs in the red zone. Now, for years, Andy Reid has been really innovative in the red zone. And as I look back, it's mostly because they've seen man coverage. This year, as I watch the film getting ready for this week, you see the, that teams are starting to play zone. And the reason they're playing zone is they're trying to eliminate those matchups that Andy Reid always creates for Travis Kelsey and Pacheco and uh, you name it, Noah Gray. So let's take a look at their nine-yard touchdown score that put them up 13 to nothing. It kind of put the game out of reach because both defenses were playing so well. So here's the route uh, as you come up. So they're going to swing the tailback. That's going to decipher coverage, right? So if you look here, they're going to be um, a swing by Pacheco. You're going to get kind of a double dig concept up here. This would work if it was cover three because the outside dig would take the corner and this would be inside the safety. Then over here, you're going to get an occupy route. Now, everybody has a different name for their routes. I know that, but this is what I call it. I call it the occupy route. Basically, he's going to try to occupy this linebacker and make this linebacker make a decision. Now, here's the key. Hopkins is going to run, should run a slant. But because the Chiefs are so smart, everybody's on the same page. He knows he's not running a slant because he's not getting cover three or he's not getting man. He's getting a non-slant look. So let's get rolling here. So now here's what Patrick Mahomes sees. Right? He comes up. Pacheco is here. First thing he sees is he sees this umbrella defense. Now, this is what they're seeing. They're seeing a too high shell here with the corners here. But for me, I know it's kind of a – we used to call it two squat. And the reason we called it two squat is because no one's no one's backpedaling really because the end line is there. So it's cover two or cover four, however you want to say it. But for me, it's two high safeties, and these guys are playing kind of like an umbrella. And you'll see this corner is going to turn his, his backside to us um, as the play goes along. So you're going to see, so he sees his eyes, eyes are on him, which tells the quarterback zone. And then when Pacheco motions out, no one runs. So then he immediately knows it's zone, which is making a really easy picture for him. Now, as Mahomes does that, when that motion goes over here, he decides that he's going to read this side of the field, which makes, again, Andy Reid does a really nice job of this. So Kelsey is going to run at this linebacker. This linebacker is going to have his eyes because that gives them three over here now. So his eyes are going to now move over here. So like I said, Mahomes is going to work this side. He's going to work really easy, a really easy concept off this linebacker. As he drops, he sees that this linebacker is going to drop to the motion. Kelsey's going to run right at this backer and dive inside an occupy route. Now, Hopkins has got to make sure that he drives on this slant, but he's got to not run into coverage, either by the safety or this linebacker. He's got to create separation so Mahomes has an easy throw to him. So as the play continues, okay, now you see Travis is driving right at that linebacker. That linebacker sees him. He's going to go. Now you see the window that's being created. He's got to make sure he doesn't run into the safety or drag it across. Now, if this was man coverage, Hopkins would be on a hard slant right here, but the Chiefs are so dynamic in the red zone, they understand. So Hopkins is going to sit right in this hole here and make this linebacker make a choice. If he drops out, he'll work to Kelsey because this linebacker's working over here. If he stays, which he does, Hopkins is going to be wide open in this hole. All right, take a look at So you're seeing Patrick Mahomes. He knows you see his eye. So that this picture is now the end zone copy. So you see Patrick Mahomes' eyes are working right at this linebacker, Henley. And as he's got his eyes on Travis Kelsey going across, Mahomes knows that, uh, Hopkins will be in that window. And as you can see, Hopkins sits in this window. Kelsey takes the linebacker. Look how big that window is. And because Hopkins knows it's zone, he sits it down and makes an easy throw for Patrick Mahomes. Catches the ball. That big triangle in the window there ends up being a nine-yard touchdown. Again, this kind of put the game out of reach because the defenses are playing so well. The Browns are going to have to mix up their coverage on the red zone. If, if Patrick Mahomes know what's, knows what coverage they're in, they could be in trouble.